Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video tutorial, we have got this triangle ABC with these given angles as you can see in this figure. And now we are going to calculate these angle A, B and C. So let's go ahead and get started. And as you can see that our angles are in terms of X. Let's focus on angle A. This is 4X plus 15. Our angle C is 2X minus 5. And our angle B is missing. Let me go ahead and call this angle as Y. So in order to find these angles A, B, and C, we must find the value of X variable and Y variable as well. And moreover, I will show you two different approaches to solve this problem. And here's our very first step. Let's talk about exterior angles. And here we have exterior angle theorem. The exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of two opposite interior angles, as you can see in this given illustration. And we know that this X is our exterior angle and this is equal to the sum of these two opposite interior angles. Therefore, in our case, this exterior, this is our exterior angle. This is going to be equal to the sum of these two opposite interior angles. So therefore, we can write as 4x plus 15 plus the other angle is 2x minus 5 is equal to this exterior angle which is 110 plus x. Let's go ahead and simplify this thing and solve for x. So on the left hand side that's going to become 6x plus 10 equal to 110 plus x. And let's move this x on the left hand side and at the same time I'm going to move this 10 on the right hand side so we can write 6x minus x equal to 110 and this 10 becomes negative 10. So we got 5x equal to 100 so that means our x value is 20. And here's our next step. Let's talk about a triangle sum theorem. That means the sum of three interior angles of a triangle are equal to 180 degrees. So that means the sum of these angle A, angle B, and this angle C must be equal to 180 degrees. So let me go ahead and write it down. Angle A is 4x plus 15 angle B is Y and angle C is 2x minus 5 and set it equal to 180. Let's go ahead and solve. Let's put combined like, like terms 4x and 2x is going to become 6x and then plus Y and then plus 10 equal to 180 degrees. Let's move this 10 on the other side. So 6x plus y equal to 180 minus 10. So that means 6x plus y equal to 170. And we know that our x value is 20. Let's go ahead and substitute this 20 over here. So 6 times 20 plus y equal to 170. So that's going to become 120 plus y equal to 170. So that means if we subtract 120 from both sides, y is going to give us 50. And let me show you one more approach to find the value of y by using supplementary angles. And here's our supplementary angles definition. Two angles are supplementary when they add up to 180 degrees. In our case, 
we have these two angles, this angle and this angle, they add up to 180 degrees because they are supplementary. Therefore, we can write that one as y plus 110 plus x equals to 180 degrees. So let's move this 110 on the other side. So y plus x equal to 180 minus 110. So y plus x turns out to be 70. And we know that our x value is 20. Let's go ahead and replace that one. y plus 20 equal to 70. If we subtract 20 from both sides, so y is going to be equal to 50 once again. And here's our next step. Let's go ahead and calculate the angles A, B, and C now. Now let's focus on this angle A right now, which is 4x plus 15. Let's replace this x value by 20. So this is going to become 4 times 20 plus 15 is going to become 80 plus 15 equals to 95 degrees. So that means this angle turns out to be 95 degrees angle A. Now let's focus on our angle B and we know our angle B is simply Y and we know our Y is 50. So that means our angle B turns out to be 50 degrees. So that means our this angle is 50 degrees. And now let's focus on our angle C which is right up here. Let me write it down 2x minus 5 and we know that our x value is 20. Let's replace that one 2 times 20 minus 5. That means 40 minus 5 is going to give us 35 degrees. So that means this angle C turns out to be 35 degrees. So thus our angle A turns out to be 95 degrees, angle B is 50 degrees, and angle C is 35 degrees. And moreover, if we add all these three angles, they add up to 180 degrees. So that means everything looks just fine. And that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.